Welcome everyone uh, to our deep dive today. It's all about stroke vascular territories. Yeah. And specifically, we're going to be talking about how the location of a stroke right. can actually determine the symptoms that a patient experiences. Absolutely. So let's just get started with a real quick overview. Okay. Strokes occur when blood flow to a part of the brain is blocked. Right. And different arteries supply different brain regions. Yes. Leading to a variety of clinical presentations. Yeah, it's helpful to think of it like a map. Ah, okay. Each artery has its own territory in the brain. Got it. And damage to a specific artery produces a predictable set of symptoms. Interesting. Okay, so let's explore these territories. Yeah. Let's start with the anterior cerebral artery. Okay. Imagine a patient comes in with weakness. Okay. But it's mostly in their leg, mm -hmm. not their arm. Okay. What does that suggest to you? So that leg weakness, especially if it's accompanied by difficulty walking, right. points towards an anterior cerebral artery stroke. Okay. You might also observe some cognitive changes. Oh, interesting. Think apathy or confusion. Huh. So almost like their frontal lobe is affected? Exactly. Okay. The anterior cerebral artery supplies the frontal lobe. Got it. This area is responsible for movement, thinking, and even bladder control. Wow. Damage here leads to those particular symptoms. Fascinating. Okay, now let's shift gears a little bit. Sure. To the middle cerebral artery. Okay. What happens if it's the arm that's more affected than the leg? Then we're probably dealing with a middle cerebral artery stroke. Okay. Facial weakness mm. and sensory loss on the same side of the body are also common. Interesting. And isn't this also where we see a lot of language problems? Precisely. No. If the stroke affects the left side of the brain, mm -hmm. which is the dominant hemisphere for language in most people, right. you might see aphasia. Okay. This can manifest as difficulty speaking or understanding speech. Got it. Okay. So let's move now to the posterior cerebral artery. Okay. What happens with a stroke in this territory? Vision is key here. Okay. Patients may experience visual field loss. Mm -hmm. They might lose half of their vision in one or both eyes. Whoa. So they would only be seeing half of what's in front of them? That's right. Wow. It's called homonymous hemianopia. Okay. And if the stroke affects deeper structures, right. it can impact memory and even cause problems with balance and coordination. So many different things yeah. can be affected. Okay. Now for some of the trickier cases, yeah. let's talk about lacunar strokes. Okay. These sound small, but they can really pack a punch, right? Indeed. Yeah. These are caused by blockages in tiny arteries deep within the brain. Mm -hmm. You might see pure motor or pure sensory deficits, yeah. meaning just weakness or just sensory loss yeah. without the other cognitive symptoms. Interesting. So the effects can be very, very specific. Exactly. Uh the symptoms really depend on the precise location of the blockage within these deep brain structures. Got it. And finally, let's discuss vertebra basilar strokes. Okay. These sound scary. They can be. Yeah. Vertebra basilar strokes affect the back of the brain, mm -hmm. including the brainstem. Right. And because this area controls vital functions, mm -hmm. these strokes can be life-threatening. So we're talking about things like breathing, heart rate. Yes. All that. And, and you might see double vision difficulty swallowing or even problems with balance and coordination. It's amazing how each artery is linked to such specific functions. It is. Recognizing these patterns is truly crucial for healthcare providers. Absolutely. Yeah. Quick recognition allows for faster treatment. And in stroke care time is of the essence. Every minute counts. Absolutely. How does understanding these vascular territories help us pinpoint the location of a stroke? Think of it as a puzzle. Okay. The patient's symptoms are the pieces. Uh-huh. By carefully assembling those pieces, we can determine the most likely location of the stroke. So we're really looking for patterns. Exactly. Specific types of weakness, sensory loss, visual problems or language difficulties provide valuable clues. Got it. Time is brain when it comes to stroke. Right. The sooner we identify the location and cause of the stroke, the sooner we can initiate the appropriate interventions. So speaking of treatment, mm. how does knowing that vascular territory actually guide our management? Well, different types of strokes may require different approaches. Okay. In some cases, medications can be used to dissolve blood clots. Mm -hmm. This is known as thrombolysis. And that's most effective when administered early, right? Yes. There's a limited window of time for thrombolysis to be effective. Ah. That's why rapid diagnosis is so essential. What about surgical options? In certain cases, a procedure called a thrombectomy may be performed. Okay. This involves physically removing the blood clot. 
The decision to pursue thrombolysis, thrombectomy, or other interventions really depends on several factors. Ah, yeah. The location and severity of the stroke are key considerations. So understanding the vascular territory helps us personalize the treatment plan for each patient. Precisely. It's about tailoring our approach to the individual's needs. Now, what about long-term care? How does this knowledge help us manage those lasting effects of a stroke? Knowing which area of the brain was affected allows us to anticipate potential challenges okay. up during recovery. Yeah. We can then develop very targeted strategies to address those challenges. This has been an incredible deep dive into the world of stroke vascular territories. It has been. We've explored how each artery supplies a specific region of the brain. Right. We discussed how damage to that region can lead to those unique neurological deficits. Yeah. And we've seen how this knowledge can really help us diagnose strokes, quickly make informed treatment decisions, and provide tailored care for our patients. Remember, time is brain. Every minute counts. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into stroke vascular territories. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.